Hey Beavers! It's Tuesday. I'm Lori. It's the Beaver Bunch, of course. You know that. You're here. I'm here. We're here. So it's the Beaver Bunch. Um, okay, so I want you to know that my good friend Mara introduced me to a artist that will be performing on the Glee Project, which I love the Glee Project. I'm like kind of getting over Glee, but I still kind of like the Glee Project. And uh, they have this uh, new girl on it, and I think she's a lesbian. She looks like Justin Bieber, so I'm assuming she's one of those lesbians who look like Justin Bieber, as the Tumblr website has. And um, her name's Danny Shay, and I think you should check her out because she's adorable. And um, she might win because she actually has a super good voice, kind of like indie folk ish. Um, anyway, and then also. I wanted to point out that Mary Beth and I invested in this lovely, the L word, the complete final season, which, okay, so the final season was the best season, but I have all the other seasons as I am a very big lesbian, and um, this is the season that Bet and Tina get back together, right? So there's that. So I had to have that. You have to be able to be like, I just need to see it. I just need to see it. just need to feel how I felt that first time when it happened. Um, additionally... <laughs> In, in speaking of the L word, uh, we have NCIS on television right now, and our favorite, Morena, is on there. I don't know if you remember her from the first and second, what? Morena. Morena. She says Morena. She also says, Jenny. Jenny. I, I, think I, could for, I think I could love you. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> okay, that, that's my gratuitous uh, Morena. impression and then this week we have a pretty good topic I would say uh, this is coming from a viewer that says that her girlfriend has been asking her to eat her out and she would like her girlfriend to get tested because she's had sex with other people but the girl that wrote in has not so she even said that she would go which I think is really nice um, but she doesn't want to get anything from her and I think that that's legit. You know what? It's not this thing that if you ignore it goes away. And same with infections and STDs. If you have one, you may not know you have one even if you don't have symptoms. I know that this might be, um, you know, basic stuff for some people. But it's just good to be reminded that you don't have to have symptoms to have a um, latent uh, disease or infection. And you can get treatment. And there also are preventative measures, uh, like we've talked about dental dams or like, you know, you can cut open a condom and use it um, in, in place if you are using your mouth to pleasure someone. Um, additionally, I want to say, too, that this uh, girl that's writing in says that she's never had sex before. And it sounds like she's been uncomfortable with the idea of getting an STD, so she might be, you know, putting off in that for that reason. Um, but I also want to say that if that although it, it is a really, really valid reason to not want to contract anything um, because you can, of course, contract infections just from face to face to vagina. Uh, <laughs> it's I, I also want to say that make sure that you are emotionally ready and that you're just not putting it off um, because you're saying it's that, I mean, although I think that's totally valid and it's a really good reason, but I also having, you know, from somebody who's never had sex before saying that they are, you know, have some concerns, make sure that all of your concerns are addressed. You feel great about it. You feel really ready in every single way. Like you get tested, you have the green light, just make sure everything is in place and you feel good about it. You are ready. Um, because you only get one first time, okay? Unless you're like one of those born-again virgins. But I don't know how first time, the next first time actually feels. So I wouldn't bank on it. Um, <laughs> but I missed you guys last week. I'm glad that Cade filled in for me. Thank you, Cade. Uh, we missed him. And, um, oh, just as an update, I don't know if anyone else has mentioned this, but we talked about the Miss Universe uh, Canada contestant, the transgendered female, and she is allowed to compete, so that is a, a great victory. I honestly didn't think that Mr. Trump had it in him to do the right thing morally, but uh, I think that he he showed some showed some props. I don't know if he was forced to do it or if he was avoiding a lawsuit, but 
in any way, I think it's a it's a, it's a victory for um, the transgender population. So yay, because that's a victory for all of us, because we're all in this together. We're a LGBTQRSTUV family, and um, my favorite queen went home on RuPaul's Drag Race. I don't want to talk about it. There might have been some tears over in, in our apartment last night when we watched it, but we won't get into that. But um, I'm going home to Michigan this week, so I will see you next week, and uh, I'm going wedding dress shopping. Yay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.